Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're making hamachi crudo. Let's start with curing salt. So to a mortar and pestle, I'm adding in one and a half teaspoons of Szechuan peppercorns, giving these a nice little crush. And then to a small bowl, I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of ground coriander, and our crushed Szechuan peppercorns. We're gonna rub this all over the fish and it's gonna cure in the fridge for two hours. Now this is hamachi and this is sushi grade. So if you're gonna do this dish, make sure your fish is sashimi or sushi grade. Just cutting out this bloodline and that's usually where all the bones are. Then we're gonna rub all of this curing mixture onto all sides of our fish. And we're gonna pop this in the fridge for a maximum of two hours. The reason I wanted to do this dish is a lot of people are intimidated by doing a raw fish dish and it has been so hot here in New York. I'm sure a lot of you have been experiencing a heat wave. So I wanted to do a dish that didn't require any heat whatsoever. While our fish is curing, we're gonna make a sauce. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of yuzu, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Give that a good mix until all that sugar is dissolved. For the toppings, I have a little daikon radish, just cutting this into planks. I wanted to make this a little fancier for plating, so I'm just stacking these and using a small biscuit cutter to cut these into rounds. Then we're going to cut them into halves so we get half moon shapes. I'm trying to get a little better with my plating because you do eat with your eyes first. Next up, we're going to just thinly slice a little bit of red onion. We don't want this to overpower the fish. And finally, we need a little serrano chili. Only a couple slices, but you want to chop the chop this up as thin as possible. Now our fish is ready. I've rinsed off all of that curing mixture that we put on and we're going to start slicing this into thin slices. You can also pop this in the freezer for 15 minutes to make slicing easier. And now to plate, I'm just going to lay down our slices of cured hamachi, topping with a little daikon radish, red onion, our little serrano chilies here, a couple leaves of cilantro, some black sesame seeds, topping with our bright citrusy sauce, and sprinkling with a little flaky salt. Now let's go ahead and give this a taste. The cure that we put on this fish has firmed it up. You get the heat from the serrano chilies as well as that Szechuan peppercorn cure that we put on there. The onions add a little hint of oniony-ness if that's a word. You get the crunch from the daikon radish, that brightness from the yuzu, saltiness from the soy, and this is refreshing and delicious. But there it is, hamachi crudo. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you again, and until next time, happy cooking.